Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter and I'm so excited about today's project. As you can see, we're doing Turning Red and we've got the split face, so we're gonna go furry on this side. This side is pretty much done. I mean, it is what it is. We do have the glasses where, you know, I wanna stack them and make them look more like if you remember Mirabelle from Encanto. So anyway, um, <laughs> but we're gonna be doing some fun things too. I mean, on top of turning this side, furry and flock-ish. Um, we're gonna be mixing some colors. I'm trying some new things because I don't have the right colors and so I'm just gonna go off the grid a little bit and see what we can do. Um, all right, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that we can get. And you notice I have a bigger space today. I hope that makes it easier for us to work with. And all right, let's get started. Oh, before I forget, so if you remember from the image, and actually I should pull up the image on here, so give me just one second. Um, there's whiskers coming out, and the whiskers are super thin to the point where I know I won't be able to support them with the, um, the foam boards. So our workaround, we have a workaround. I printed it in glitter cardstock, so I get to show you something new there. Um, so yeah, let me pull this up on Design Space. I've got the image. And I think we're ready to go. <laughs> okay. Um, as you just, <laughs> all right, we're, we're going to move it on, move it on. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move this aside for now. And we're going to build our background, right? So what's different about our background? Well, first of all, let's build it the normal way. And then I'll show you what is different. So we've got... Uh, that piece, that piece I think is over here. Um, what am I, see I'm so bad at this. I, no, I don't know. <laughs> I do know this is over here because of the whiskers. All right, I think we've got it. I think it goes like this. It goes like this and like this. It's a smaller piece. We only did 20 inches because I knew I was using the flock. I uh, knew I wanted to test with it, but 20 inches is still pretty big. When this is done, I'll put it up next to me and you'll see that it is still a very, very good size. All right, so we're gonna flip everything over and take from the back, right? Because we wanna make sure it, there is some black peeking through on, you know, in the image. So we always wanna make sure that we tape on the back side so that the tape, even though it's clear, it, it, it's, there's a glossiness to it, you're gonna notice it. When we're taping the back side, always pick up one piece, push it against the other one, and then tape. So we're trying to eliminate the seams as much as possible. I mean, it. there are gonna be seams because that's the whole thing with off the mat, right? We're going off the mat, we're cutting something really big into smaller pieces that the Cricut can handle. So we know there are gonna be seams, but the beauty of what we do is we're gonna make it as seamless as possible. So these two pieces, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna pick one up, push it against the other one and tape it down. And then we're gonna tape the two pieces together. All right, so we've got that. Now, with these whiskers that I was saying earlier, they're thin and delicate, right? Look how thin that is. We can't, I cannot cut um, a foam board by hand and make that look good. So what we're gonna do is, I basically, let's tape these two, tape these four pieces down and then we'll talk about it. You're gonna see it in a second. I cut the reverse image in glitter cardstock because I knew it was gonna be thick, thicker, and that it would help. So let's tape this down, and then what we're gonna do is, so I know there's gonna be foam board going on this, so it's not, I guess it depends on, you know, do you wanna just have this without the foam board? That's gonna be up to you. I'm still gonna do a foam board, but you see like even this, it's kind of thin. I'm gonna put this down, so that our whiskers have 300 GSM, just so that it doesn't, um, it just gives it a little bit more of a chance, <laughs> you know, to make it. So on this one, I'm also gonna flip this over. Right? 
Um, where is this piece? What is this piece? This piece has, what is going on? Oh, this piece, oh my goodness. I'm, see how, uh, what am I doing here? Okay, hold on. See, I can't even do the reverse because I'm confused. Okay, so now that we have the pieces down, I'm going to reverse it, right? Holy my gosh. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna reverse it and then tape it down and then we can glue it together. So these two pieces, Now this is the back side, so no one's really seeing this side, but it's, you know, it should still look good. All right, here we go. So what we can do is we can actually, we can glue all this together right now. So let me plug in my hot glue gun. Okay, that's going. And then we're basically going to, oh, I need to take more. And tape on this side. And maybe tape up there. Okay. So we can glue all this down. Do you see how this part right here, I think, oh, you can see the white. So it's white core and it didn't cut that well because it's so thin. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors because I think it'll be more distracting to have that and I'm just going to cut it off. It just is. That's just what's going to happen. <laughs> so we're going to glue this down and I've got my hot glue gun going over there. We're going to glue this down in a second. We're going to flip it over and start piecing this together. Now in the meantime while the glue gun is going, um, I want to put together the glasses. So this is the frame, the top part, and it's like a reflective mirror gray paper. It's gorgeous. And I have it on the glitter black cardstock. And the reason why I did the glitter black card cardstock is because it's, you, you can see how thin this is. I needed something of substance because look, I cut it out on regular black and it was too flimsy. So what I wanna do with these I just bought these. Uh, this is the glossy accents and people were using it to create um, like water drops on, like if you were doing a water theme, sorry, this is bothering me. If you were doing a water theme and you wanted uh, raindrops for instance, or water drops, you could put this on, it dries clear, and it dries in that drop. I thought this would be great to put on here so that we can stack these and give it some some layers and some dimension to it. Um, normally I would use my glue gun for this, but my glue gun is so drippy these days, I don't wanna do it with that. So I'm gonna try it with this. So I'm gonna do it from behind. Um, and so let's try this out for the first time and see, let's see, what do we need to do? Let dry for 15 to 60 minutes. Oh, we don't have time for that. Okay, maybe we do. All right, I'm going to... Okay, so it is very easy to control, and I know you couldn't really see that. Um, on this one, the drops are clear, and it's pretty cool. So it comes out like glue, but it, it there's, um, there's enough density to it so it doesn't just splatter out so let me see if I can zoom in so that you can see this for a second oops I'm zooming in on the wrong one sorry all right here we go all right I am going to put hold on I'm gonna put this one give me a second and I put it on here Hopefully you can see, is that a better angle? I'm trying to see it on my screen and I'm not really seeing it well. But I'm gonna let it dry up here. We'll stack the glasses last. 
because it says it takes a while to dry. So let me see if you can see this. I'm putting one drop there and two drops here and put it up here to dry. I'm going to do the same on this one. Oh, this one's the thin one. This is the exact outline. So I'm not going to do it on that one. I'm going to do it on this one. Like what happened to my spacing? It's so small. Oh, I went all the way to the edge on that one. Okay, so hopefully this will dry by the end of the tutorial so that we can stack these. So I think you can see that a little bit. I mean, they're super, it, the thing was super easy to use. So I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna move this over so that while it's drying, it's not gonna be crazy. And we'll move this back out so you can see everything. Okay. All right, my glue gun is going. I'm gonna move the glasses out. Okay, and on this, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue Get this going, line it up, and it's down. And I think what I'm gonna do, oh no, that was not good. Oh no, because now you see the white. Okay. Well, that's what happens when you go too fast. <laughs> and I'm gonna peel this off. So I thought that was a good idea, but now that I think about it, this has the white, the white background. So if it doesn't line up properly, it's actually going to draw more attention to it. So I guess I won't be doing that. Okay. So we're just going to go with this. That, in theory, it sounded really good, right? I would have a pretty background in the back, but it, the white was really bad, right? And the slightest bit off was going to show it, so let's not do that. I'm going to move this aside. And, all right, let's get working on this one. So here are our pieces. Let's do the mailing side. And we can do the other side afterwards. We can, because I think everything on the other side is going to be flock. So let's put this down and see if we can put it together and glue it down and then we'll work on the other side. Which is normally not how I like to do it, right? Like I like to have everything down, but in this case, we don't, um, I don't think we really have a choice. So we'll see, we'll see what we can do. And if you remember from the design space tutorial, this was originally, I think four pieces and we took it down and made it one piece, which is just so much easier to align, right? Um, and easier to maintain. Same thing with this. This was, I believe in a few pieces. I love this orange. This orange is um, Cricut glitter cardstock. And you can see right here, these tips came out white because it was so thin right there. I'm gonna cut it off because I think it's more distracting. And we're just gonna put it down like this. See, 
see how that like moved everything? Um, it's always good to put it down first so that you can, um, you have the option of, you know, rearranging everything so that it is spaced out properly. Because if you start gluing down, even though you think you know where it should go, uh, inevitably something needs to be moved. So I don't recommend doing it that way. It's always good to have your options. See, and I feel like there's something going on right there. It's not fitting properly. It does go like that. Are these even? Hold on, sorry. I've got two of them. Sitting right. And this is, you know, it's just the way the design is. It's not evenly spaced. So it's going to make this a little bit tougher. Like, you see how close that is? There's no space. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see. Does it go like that? It does go like that. Okay. Um, and then her glasses go there. So let's look at this and see if we need to realign anything. Feel like we do. Maybe that's why it's not fitting. Okay. Oh my gosh. Nope. This is so much harder than it looks. <laughs> See, that's so weird to me. Okay, there. Is that better? So I'm looking at the image online, like the file that I brought in, and there is a, a little gap right there that nothing goes. This black part is, for whatever reason, thicker than everything else. Um, let's see if I can make this work better. See, that's where it should go. And this is going to be hard because we're putting this down and then we have the other side, which I haven't even put down. So it'll be interesting. I feel like we need to put the other side down, otherwise we're going to have major, major issues. See, this does not make sense to me at all because there's so much space right there and there shouldn't be. But I feel like, oh, I can move this down more. Okay, hold on. Okay, we've got to put down everything because this is not working. <laughs> So let's put down this side and see, look, okay. Wow, that would have been bad. We, I needed to move this over more because there's no room for it. Okay, and we'll flock this side later, but yeah, we need to put this down because it's not working for me. Oh, hold on, okay. Can you see that? Okay, I'm gonna move that board in a second. Missing a piece of hair right here. And then her glasses go there. Okay. 
So let's see if when we put all this down, if everything makes more sense, because we need everything to line up. Otherwise the whole thing will look really, really weird. Um, if you followed along in design space, you will also know that this orange part was so big that we needed to break this up into like her cheek. So we made this one piece into a two-piecer. This is way, this is not, <laughs> not easy to line everything up. I don't know what is going on here. Okay, so yeah, this orange piece is off because look at that. So let me move. This piece gets bigger, I guess. Okay, that means this needs to go over some. More like that. Good thing we did both sides because that would have looked really bad. So. There's a piece that I missed. Oh, it's over here. We've got her nose. The nose matches up to this nose. Oh, jeez. See, that's off. This nose should line up to this like that I'm showing you this okay everything impacts the other pieces <laughs> So, I feel like this right here, I just don't, it's just off. What am I doing? Okay, like that, there. Let me get out these two pieces so that my clunky hands So weird it's just an open gap right there as well as here so this design is just more difficult because the design itself is not even like I was saying so it definitely makes it hard to line things up because we don't have that clue of lining everything up evenly okay and then we know the glasses are gonna go there so let's make sure everything else is in place so now I feel like this is right. This is still a little bit off. There. Okay. This is good. This needs to go in a little bit more. Oh man, <laughs> that is hard. Okay, 
So we've got all the pieces down. Let's get this side down while we have everything. So I'm gonna be using this little guy. It's the Quick Stick from We Are Memory Keepers. What's nice about this one is that I can kind of, I'll do something like this, right? Oh man. And because it's glitter, it still moved a little bit. But that helped me get this up. Let's realign this if we need to a little bit. I think that looks good. Wow. Okay. So with this guy, I'm gonna be using Barely Art Glue for most of my gluing. So I'm gonna get my tweezers because that's gonna help me place this thing. And I, you know, I, I like to just sometimes dab the excess off on a paper towel. I'm gonna try to get down on here. Okay. There, okay, so that's down, good. Our nose, okay, our nose moved a little bit. I just wanna make sure. And then what I'm gonna do is probably put in this piece right here, this mouth. Let's do the hair. Okay. This is what's nice about the precision tip, right? We have, I'm just gonna Dab a little bit out there on the edges. And then I'm going to just dip it on the paper towel just so that I don't have any excess. Even though there's, it's not a lot of glue, but those tips are so fine. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. Now with the glue, you do want to press the edges down so that it makes contact with the black and then it sticks. It only takes a little bit for it to dry. Like this is going to be good to go right now, but you need to press down on it. So let me re move these pieces. And so much easier with the double sticks because you can hold, you have more control. Okay, all right, this little guy, same thing. I'm gonna hold it maybe right here. And you want to just press down and then it should stay that looks good right <laughs> all right um let's do this guy right here which we know is going to be like that okay there are some thin pieces right here so I'm just going to dab the glue down to get the excess out and then I'm gonna put it down. Ooh, and there's still a lot of glue right there. It's gonna dry clear and against the orange, it's, it's gonna be fine, but I just wanted to get that excess off. All right, let's look at this for a second. Okay. Grab that little green guy. Um, let's 
easy. And with this one, because it's just regular cardstock too, I'm definitely gonna dab this. So you see how much glue I have on there? It was very little to begin with. And you see, I'm still moving it around. There's still a little bit of time to make adjustments. Grab this green one, and then this one, because it's really thin, definitely gonna dab it. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Let's look at this face, this hair. It's still good. Let's do this face. And this is from my curated skin color line of cardstock, um, which I'm excited to tell you. It looks like we will be making it available at a retailer. So it is that is coming this summer. So just stay tuned, we're almost there. Okay, that looks good, okay. Um, let's do, move that out of the way. Oh, we haven't done, oh, the, this piece. Look okay? Looks okay, right? Okay. Let's do... This is all one piece, thankfully. Could you imagine trying to fit all of that in? And you want to press it all down. You don't want anything to stick up. And if it does, we can always go back in with glue and get it down. But right now, if you press it down and it makes contact, it's going to stay down. So it's really, really nice. Okay. I'm going to match that up. Let's see. Let's move the eyes out. All right, let's do this eye. Such a cute, cute face. It's gonna be so good. All right, let's pull this up and get it down. So next up, I haven't designed it yet, but there's gonna be a cake topper tutorial, I think. I wanna do turning red with a cake topper. I have an idea. I don't know if I can execute it just yet, so you're gonna have to stay tuned. <laughs> I'm not ready to spill it in case I can't do it. Okay. 
Um, we've got the big mouth. Here's, here it is. I'm gonna use this because it's so thin. Yay. All right, let's get the teeth in. Let's see. This one, it got ripped, so I'm gonna just cut it off. I initially welded it, so it wasn't supposed to be there anyway, so it's totally okay. But this is getting really, really delicate, so I'm gonna use this. So good. <laughs> All right, let's get this down. Looks like I'm going to need to refill my glue soon. So her shirt in the SVG file, if you guys bought the same one, um, it was it was red. But then when I went to Google the images, she was wearing a pink shirt, so I changed it to pink. Um, I don't know. You'll have to let me know. I saw a lot of pink, so went with pink, and I thought it was a good contrast. Because that way, like the turning red, the orange, it's not going to be fighting for attention with the red. So, All right, she is down. There's still a tongue and a mouth on the, I mean, a tongue and teeth on this side. But I'm not too worried about that. She is down. Let's check on. Oh, let's do the eyes. Because I think it'll help us with the overall image. And like it, I didn't want to distract, so it's a bronze glittery, but a flat glitter. So, um, because a lot of times with the glitter cardstock, it's so shiny, I didn't want it to compete. I kept it on this side, and then we're gonna go flock. So nothing crazy on the inside. Okay, and then let's get the little white dot. And then we're done. Oh, we have this little piece. All right, so let's go check on our glasses. Uh, 
Oh, they're dry. They were just little dots. So, all right, so let's do this. So we're going to do, so see it doesn't sit flat on her face. Okay, so, um, how should we do this? Let me move her up. I am gonna put a little bit of glue down on the dots. And let's see if we can match it up here. Oh, good. Oh, look at this. It's going to be good. See, there's just, there's space. That's what we want. Okay. Um, let's... I'm going to put this one down here. glue on this and put that one on top of that. That looks so good here. Let me see if I can I'll show you in a little bit, I promise. <laughs> All right, this though is, I think I'm just gonna do this. And we're just gonna glue this down like that. It's gonna look so good. All right, so on this one, I am just going to glue wherever we can. It's thin. Okay. That's on there. That looks great. Um, okay. So let's start working on our flock. I'm going to do like this nose first. Okay. So this little guy right here and I'm going to zoom in. Uh, let me do it the same way. <laughs> okay. And um, I'm going to get a piece of paper. So give me just one second so that we have something to just pick up all the flock and put it back in. All right, here we go. So with this piece, we know it's gonna go down here, right? Wait, like this. So it's a dark, um, here we go. So here's that piece. So what I did is the adhesive sheets come and it's basically double-sided tape, but in the, in the size of eight and a half by 11. So I just put the sheet down on my Cricut mat and I cut it and I cut it on glitter cardstock so that the whole piece comes out like this. So what I'm gonna do is basically, I'm gonna peel off the back. And I don't know why the back side is always harder to peel for me. Let's see if I can get this here. Hold on. Okay, there. So I'm peeling off the back side. Oops. There's like so much glue. Hold on. The glue strings are getting to me. Okay, here we go. 
So it got misaligned a little bit. I'm just going to pick it up with my thing and put it back, like line it back up like you would adhesive vinyl. Okay. So now that I have this piece, I'm going to put it directly on here. And then I'm going to pull this piece, oh sorry, this piece off right here. And so I have, wait, let's push this down really hard. Make sure that it's on my brown piece, okay? Then I'm going to pull this up. So I have a sticky layer on top. And this is small enough that I'm just going to dip down like this. And look at that fuzzy nose. So on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press down on it to make sure that it's on there. So let me get out a spoon, okay, just so that I can get it. So I'm going to press it down. Oh, sorry. Press it down. It's super fuzzy. I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to shake off all the excess. After you shake off the excess, you should not have any loose flock around. Um, I was at Creativation and they had these sample sheets out, like big sheets that everyone can touch and it was not flaking at all. So, oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Okay, so this piece goes down right here. So hold on, I'm gonna press one more time. Actually, I'm gonna press this way. So I'm gonna put a little bit of powder down. And I'm just going to press to make sure it is on there. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. All right, so this piece we can just put down. We can even, let's see if everything, I'm not going to glue it down because now you know how to glue it down. Let's do a few more pieces of these and see where it gets us. So the next tutorial will be um, putting it on a foam board. So today we're just gonna mix a few and then we're gonna be done because now you know how to piece everything together. Look at that, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm gonna put it aside. Let's put this back in so that we don't waste it. So the, the adhesive sheets, the adhesive basically double-sided tape sheets um, are at Pink and Main, and so is this block, which I'm absolutely in love with. It's so fun. Um, so this color is Teddy Bear, so perfect. Uh, let's do this pink. So this pink I'm going to be experimenting. Okay, so the pink is super light. Um, and this pink is a little bit more like cotton candy pink. So I'm almost wondering, could I mix it? I'm going to mix it. So let me, I'm going to zoom out. Oh, I zoomed out on the wrong one again. Just so that I'm not, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I have this piece here. I'm going to move this. I'm gonna try to mix it, okay, and see if it makes a difference. Um, so I have some pink there. I don't know if flock works the same way, where if I mix some white in it and get a good mix, will I see less of the pink? The 
does it feel less pink? It feels a little bit less pink. <laughs> or I'm just trying to make myself feel better. This is, I mean, it's a lot of fun to experiment with things. Um, I don't know, these days, like I've done so many off the mat characters, right? Where we cut the paper, we tape it down, we're done. Like we know what it's supposed to look like. So it's fun for me to, you know what, it is working. It is a much paler pink. I'm gonna put just a little bit more white in here. Um, so it's so fun to try different things. Like the whole Encanto series for me was a lot of fun. Like just the flowers, the, the pom-pom earrings, like all of that. It makes it so much more fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, and if you wanna see another flock example, I did use it for Bruno, for his sandals and also for the rats. Okay, this definitely is lighter. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's definitely a paler pink, so. I am happy that it works. Okay, so let's get this piece. I'm gonna close up these. So this is cotton candy, which <laughs> no wonder. And this one is cotton tail. How cute is that? Let me get the adhesive piece for this ear. I have it over here. I mean, look how big this piece is. We're gonna be doing, these are huge, huge pieces. Um, Where is my ear? Oh, here we go. So let's see if I can peel this off. Now I'm using my fingernails. I'm wondering if that's the best way to do this. I feel like I'm so close. Okay. I always, I don't know why the whole piece comes up. Okay, so let me, there we go. But I rolled it onto itself. So I'm gonna be missing a part of the pink right here, which is why you want to make sure that you use the same, the closest color that you can get um, for the for the backing, because in cases like this where I totally ruined, <laughs> I ruined the, the taping part. So I'm gonna try to maybe put some glue down there, we'll see. I'm pulling this off. I wonder if like you're supposed to do something to make it stick better and to be able to peel off e more easily. Okay, I'm gonna use this little stick because this came off a little bit. Got it down, got it down, okay. Okay, so I'm slightly off a little bit on this. It was a big piece, which now I'm wondering how I'm gonna do the big, big piece. <laughs> um, we'll have to figure it out, okay. All right, so here we go. Now I'm gonna peel off the top layer. Okay, so it's all down. Oh man, I'm gonna need to mix more. Need to mix a lot more. Too much. 
Oh, can you see it now? This one's much lighter, right? This is the one without the white. So I'm gonna put more white in there. Mix it all together. Okay, we're gonna do this for this color and for the lighter one. It's the same thing. And I'm excited to know that we can mix these colors. I just wasn't sure, it didn't make, <laughs> just like my other experiment with the black glitter cardstock, right? In theory, it sounded good. All right, so I think this is a good mix now. So lift this up, press it down. And this is super, super pale. So you wanna make sure you press it down. And I almost wanna say before I'm totally sure, my gut tells me that I think the darker colors are a little bit easier to work with. They just take over the color a little bit more easily because it starts to stain the, the adhesive, if that makes sense. It's my initial guess, but let's see if once I press this down, if it stays a little bit better on there, the color. And I know we're going for a pale pink too, so that might be part of what's making me think that. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's uneven, the pressure. Like how much is staying on there. So. Okay, it's better. I'm gonna continue working on that, but you can see what I mean, right? It Because it's light, you can see every bit of it. So when a spot has more, like right here, you can really see it. Whereas on the dark one, on the nose, with the dark brown in the back and that, it just, it, it looks more natural. It looks like, you know, cause dogs aren't like uniform, for instance, right? Like in their fur, but with the pale pink, it just is so much more obvious. So we gotta be more careful with it. We're almost there. This part is still super, super dark. It looks really pretty though. I mean, it's different and in person, like you know there's texture to it. Um, there, can you see it better? Okay. Okay, love it. I love it. Okay, now what am I gonna do with this lighter concoction? Um, I'm gonna have to put it in a bottle. All right, so the rest we're gonna continue doing. I will see you back for the foam part. I hope this was a lot of fun and it gives you an idea of how to experiment with things and kind of just, you know, we don't know until we do it. Um, so, all right, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.